All right, let's get to it. Once you launch your first project, you will now have access to your project settings. These can be accessed via the gear icon in the bottom right corner of the interface. The project settings give you a lot of control over your media, your workflow, and your output. There are different subcategories listed on the left-hand side of the screen, and then all of the available options on the right-hand side. I will cover as much ground as possible on these settings, as I believe it gives the editor great power to understand the inner workings of the software they're using and be able to control every aspect of their project. At the top, you have presets. These allow you to save the configurations for all of the menus listed below. This is really convenient if you shoot your projects on the same camera and find that you're using the same project settings over and over again. Also convenient if the nature of your work is episodic. For example, you're shooting a series of films and would like to output them to look the same way. You'll see three standard presets already included when you open up your project. The one at the top refers to the current project you're working on and will only affect this project. The system config preset is only available to the administrator of the DaVinci Resolve workstation. The settings that you save on this configuration will apply to all future created projects by all users. Lastly, you'll have a default configuration for your user. This means any new projects that I make with this configuration enabled will have these settings. This will not apply to any of the other users who might be sharing my workstation under other logins. To save a new preset, make the appropriate changes in your project settings, go up to Presets and click Save As. To load the preset in future projects, Simply select it and click Load. Otherwise, you can also delete. We'll be looking at the master project settings in the next tutorial.